My name is Brad Matthews. This is my track, One of Them Kind of Nights, on the beat. It's getting close to midnight, there's a fire crackling white. If you get a little corner, baby, I'll just hold you tight. Underneath the moonlight, we will make it not a eye. A couple cans beforehand, I know where we stand. I can tell, I can tell, it's gonna be alright. It's gonna be, it's gonna be one of them kind of nights. I can tell, I can tell, it's gonna be. Side of me tonight. We never used to talk, girl, and I don't know why did not go. But I seem to have a little thing for you, and you're thinking about me too. I can tell, oh, I can tell it's gonna be alright. It's gonna be, it's gonna be one of them kind of nights. I can tell, oh, I can tell it's gonna. Performed in the Beat Studio, the track is One of Them Kind of Nights, performed brilliantly too by Brad Matthews. Good to have you here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Let's quickly do your history as a musician, because you're, you, you're not that old now, but how did it all no. start? Um, I guess it started when I was in school, really, uh, about 14. I was in a, in a band. This is where I first realised that I wanted to be a musician and uh, take it kind of seriously. But um, I've been involved with music for pretty much all my life. I started playing piano when I was five years old, um, paid for by my gran uh, for loads of years. Um, and yeah, and then I took up guitar, just off my own kind of um, initiative kind of thing. And uh, yeah, just started uh, teaching myself guitar. And then, yeah, it just it just went mental really. I started getting really just involved with it and started writing music in a band at first and then you know, things took their own course and uh, I've ended up on my own but yeah, I'm loving it at the minute. <laughs> but you're in demand aren't you because I know you, you have performed with bands as well and you've been involved yeah. in recording other people as yeah, well so yeah. um, you know, you're know you at the hub really of, yeah. <laughs> of of music around here but being solo is this what it's all about for you? Definitely, yeah definitely I mean yeah I've been uh, working at a studio, you know, a random recording studio with Guy on the field for a little while. The legendary. <laughs> the legendary. And uh, yeah, we've recorded a few people. Uh, suspect Alibi. Mm. Um, but yeah, like just, uh, Indiana, in fact. Yeah. Um, not too long ago. Um, we recorded a track on her EP, Jolene, 
that's just kind of just come out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, music for me is just obviously a massive thing, so I try and get my fingers in loads of pies, but um, being a solo artist is definitely the main priority. Now, I saw you doing lots of covers. This is going back two or three years, maybe, yeah. you, uh, your, your keyboard there. So what was it like going away from doing covers to suddenly starting doing your own material? Is that a, b a big leap? Yeah, definitely. I, I, I spoke to um, Hayley, who works here, in an interview, and uh, it, she, I said to her, um, because I was doing some covers live at the big bus thing in town. That's right. And um, it's the same. I think loads of people feel like this, but when you go from doing covers... Uh, to originals it's a bit like I don't know, it's a, it is a massive step because mm. people get used to you playing your well um, playing covers and stuff songs that they know already songs that they know already yeah, yeah. and uh, they're kind of familiar with a routine in a way of oh yeah I can't wait for the next cover um, but then as soon as you start pushing originals out it almost feels like you have to live up to something in mm. a way um, so the pressure's on is it yeah definitely is the it pressure's okay. on, yeah um, but yeah, because I've been uploading uh, covers to YouTube for a, quite a while, mm. um, and they did quite well actually. Um, but yeah, it's kind of difficult. <laughs> so, so when you sent in that first original, which you uploaded to us, I think about three months ago now, was that mm. a really big deal for you? It was, yeah, because I can remember recording that. Well, I wrote it a couple of years ago um, and recorded it actually, and then it took me almost a year to get around to saying oh, right i'm going to release it now well and i've been nagging you a bit hadn't i yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so and when are we going to get it i know and then i decided right it's just it's just time now i had loads of artwork done for it and everything uh and then i decided on the first of january i'd release it mm. i sent it straight to uh like you and yeah but it's it took me a little while to kind of write other music but I've, i guess in a way i've just trying to have been been trying to find uh, my my voice of course yeah er, just everything like that absolutely now the track that we heard earlier was one of them kind of nights which is the title track from the ep yeah where did that track come from um i, it, I wrote it a week after i've been to this party and uh yeah things happened at that party and uh i'd, I'd never really wrote a song that meant a lot to me and I, that i could s kind of put into words mm. really and this was one of them tracks where it just kind of flowed in like the space of like an hour really and it was like right i've got i've got this song and then because i wrote it so quick like on reflection it was like oh actually this tells the story of that night uh but yeah it's the people that know me and yeah. stuff they kind of were like oh Right, they, they get the story. I, th yeah. I sense we should leave it there. Yeah. It is the title track of the EP. The EP launch is imminent, isn't it? Yeah, Tuesday, this Tuesday, uh, which is the 18th. Uh, Rescue Rooms. Yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be good. You and a number of other artists as well performing there. Yeah, um, I think we've got the Chase on, Age of Stella, Richard Jenkins, uh, Vanity Box. Good lineup. Yeah, really good lineup, uh, and I'm playing with my band as well, so that okay. should be really good. Second gig with my band. And are you doing physical copies of the EP, or are you just going to leave it to the downloads? Uh, I'm doing physical copies, yeah, right. so they'll be available on the day. Uh, can't wait. <laughs> it's going to be good. Thank you very much indeed for calling in. Um, we'll stick around a bit, won't you? Because I know you're about to fly out of town, aren't you? Off to do new exciting things. Yeah, uh, I'm going to uni in September. Okay. Uh, in Liverpool. Uh, that should be all right, which is, uh, I think Paul McCartney's a patron there. So yeah, that's probably exciting. Probably bump into him. <laughs> okay, well, don't leave us forever. Make sure you come back. We look forward to, to more stuff. Have you, got, have you been writing more material as well? Uh, I have been writing a few different tracks, yeah, um, as well as being involved in all this EP, tied up with yeah. it. But, yeah, more to come soon. Brad, thank you much indeed for calling in tonight. If people want to check you out online, where's the best place to go to do that? Um, check my Facebook page. I'm always on that. Uh, so that's Brad Matthews Music. Uh, I'll pretty much update it yeah. every day. So. OK, Brad Matthews Music on Facebook. Thank you very much indeed. You're going to do another track for us now. What will this one be? Uh, this track's called My Girl. Is 
the record starts to skip on other beat Like I beat and beat and beat in hearts tonight There'll be no mistakes in this cruel of ours Cause it might as well be going, going gone She'll be leaving in the morning Until right then to make myself believe That she's staying here forever Laying in my arms, my girl It never ever seems to go to plan But you smile, smile, smile far away Cause you know that someday things will work out fine And that we'll be happy to the end of time She'll be leaving in the morning And to right then to make myself believe that she's staying here forever Laying in my arms, my girl, you see Starts to skip on off the beat Like I beat and beat and beat in hearts tonight There'll be no mistakes in this cruel device Cause it might as well be going, going